Hello from Seoul. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make LA Galbi, Korean short ribs. People from LA might say, Aaron, I never heard of it. But surprisingly, people in Korea, everybody knows that. Anyways, it doesn't matter where it came from. The important thing is you're gonna love it so much. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. First of all, to make this delicious LA Galbi, you need this specific cut which usually has 3 bone sections. If you have a Korean grocery store nearby, you can find it easily. If you don't, ask for flanken cut from the butcher. It will be thicker than the one from Korean supermarkets but no problem at all. You'll be fine. Let's rinse the meat. The reason why I'm doing this is when the meat is cut, they use a bone cutting machine. So in many cases, you can still see bone particles around the meat. So if you don't want to visit the dentist, this step is very important. If you ask me like, Aaron, why is this called the LA Galbi by the way? Then I can't give you a perfect answer because there are so many theories about it. Among them, one theory that sounds the most convincing to me is that it was studied by Korean immigrants in LA. FYI, preparing the Galbi in a traditional way is quite difficult and it takes a lot of time so I assume to save their time and labor costs, people in LA had to cut it in a different way using a bone cutting machine. I don't know if it's true but this sounds the most convincing to me. If you ever seen how to make LA Garbi somewhere else, you might often see people soak the meat for a couple of hours to get rid of excess blood. That is a more traditional way but we're not gonna do that because that way I think we can keep all the good flavor and juice from the meat so I'll just skip it. Now let's make the sauce. You will be needed Korean pear, apple, kiwi and onion. We're gonna blend all these together and add it to the marinade sauce. I'm gonna use half a pear, but if you can find it, you can just use any kind of pear you can get. One of our subscribers said she used green pear for her bulgogi sauce and she said it worked. But honestly, there's a difference in sweetness between Asian and Western pear so I highly recommend using this kind of Asian pear. It will make a big difference in flavor. Next, we're gonna use half an apple, peel the skin and put it into the blender. If it's difficult to get Asian pear, you can use an apple for the substitute but I should say pear does make all the good flavor for galbi so the taste will be slightly different. Korean galbi is all about tenderness so put half a kiwi into the blender because it makes the meat more tender. But if your short ribs are thinly sliced one like mine, I'll say it's optional. But if you're using flanken cut which is much thicker than this, I cannot say the kiwi is optional. What did I say? Korean galbi is all about tenderness. Don't forget about it. Lastly, put half an onion and a little bit of water into the blender and let the machine work. Pour the mixture into a mixing bowl. Some people use cheesecloth or strainer to get clean sauce in order to prevent the sauce from burning because it's easy to burn. But I don't want to give up all the nice flavor coming from the fruits and onion. Plus, if you follow my lead, you don't have to worry about burning the sauce so don't worry about it. Put one and a half cup of soy sauce, a half cup of sugar, a half cup of mirin, a quarter cup of corn syrup, three tablespoons of sesame oil, three tablespoons of minced garlic, a half tablespoon of minced ginger, one cup of chopped green onion, one and a half cup of water and mix everything. Now we are almost done. Take out any container for your precious galbi. Pour the sauce on the bottom first and lay down the ribs nicely. Give some space between the meat so that they are marinated well and pour the sauce over the meat with a ladle. Again, put another layer of the ribs and repeat this process. When it's done, you can pour all the remaining sauce on top. That's it. The best way to enjoy this LA Galbi is to marinate for about 4 hours at room temperature and another 8 hours in the fridge. You might say, Aaron, I just made it. How can I wait that long? You know what? I'm saying the best way. Actually, you don't have to wait that long. It is still good to go after 1 or 2 hours at room temperature. But still, it's not the best time. So if you're not fully satisfied with the taste, I'm not responsible. Now, it's time to cook the ribs. I'm gonna pan fry this but what is important here is you need to put the ribs on the pan before you turn on 
the heat. Normally, we put the meat after heating up the pan and sear the surface quickly to enhance the flavor. But if you do that with this kind of marinated meat, the sauce will definitely burn before the meat is fully cooked. Plus, since we didn't filter the fruit mixture, it's gonna burn extremely fast. So make sure to put the meat first before heating up the pan. I hope nobody skipped this part. If you did it, you're in trouble. Pour some sauce into the pan, which is about a third cup, and turn on the heat to medium-high heat. You can think of this as somewhere between braising and searing. This way, you can prevent the meat from burning and cook the meat inside at the same time. Not to mention, it will keep the meat so juicy and tender at the same time. When the sauce starts to boil, flip the ribs often so that the galbi doesn't burn. As soon as most of the sauce has evaporated, reduce the heat to medium heat and cook until the ribs are seared. When pan frying galbi, timing is very important. If you are a little bit late, things will burn extremely fast. Even if you are a skilled cook, if it's your first time to pan fry this galbi, it can be tricky. So forget about all other things like a leftover sandwich. Stay focused, just like there's only you and galbi in the whole universe. It seems done, so turn off the heat and cut it with scissors. Place it on a plate and let's call our taste tester. Claire! LA Galbi is really great. You know what? To fully enjoy this LA Galbi, you need to wash your hands and use your fingers. So no chopsticks today. It smells awesome. The smell is really good. Oh my god. The smell is really good. It's 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 really good. Honestly? This part is the best part, so you should not miss it. 확실히 이거는 양념이 짭조름해서 무조건 밥이랑 같이 먹어야 돼. 음, 음두 시간밖에 숙성 안 시켰는데도 너무 맛있는데 굳이 숙성 더 필요 없을 것 같아. 요즘 맨날 집에만 있으니까 뭐 먹을지 걱정했었는데 이제 며칠 동안 걱정 없겠네. Honestly, when you have this kalbi, you don't really need anything but rice. I'm serious. But let me show you one more dish using this LA kalbi. We only see one or two times a week, so it's too sad to say goodbye here, right? I'm gonna make LA kalbi topap, LA kalbi rice. I think it's a perfect meat in a bowl. You will be needed onion, mushroom, bell pepper, avocado, and egg. Today, I'm using bell pepper, but you can use any type of your favorite veggies or whatever you have. To be honest, I'm using this bell pepper because this is what I have at the moment. First, chop the onion. Since we're not gonna cook this onion and put it on the rice, so I recommend cutting it as thinly as possible. If you're done chopping, put them in cold water to get rid of the spiciness. If you prefer spicy onions, you can skip this step, but I don't think your family or friends wanna talk with you. Next, chop bell pepper and mushroom. To give some texture, I'm gonna chop them into chunks. Actually, how you cut it is all up to you. If you took my advice and chopped it into chunks, but it wasn't that good for you, then you can cut it into smaller pieces next time. As I always say, there's no answer in cooking. Whatever works for you, that's the best. Lastly, cut the avocado into a nice looking size. Now, we're gonna cook this galbi again. Once again, let's place the ribs on the pan before turning on the stove. Since we're gonna put this galbi over the rice, the key is tenderness. This time, I'm gonna add more sauce than before and braise it for more tenderness. And FYI, this will be the sauce for the rice at the same time. While it's cooking, take out another pan and pour some oil. Add a half tablespoon of minced garlic and make garlic oil first. Put chopped bear peppers and mushrooms. Pinch of salt and black pepper. Now all you need to do is just pan fry this. This time, let's make a poached egg which goes on the rice. It will make your galbi rice way fancier. Put 4 cups of water into a pot. If it's too much work for you, you can go for sunny side up. You wanna know one secret? I don't wanna make it either, but I need to show you the best, right? That's why I'm doing this. When you see bubbles, change the heat to low heat and take out some water with a ladle. Set it aside for now and add 2 tablespoons of vinegar and spin the water so that we can see a whirlpool. The reason why I'm putting the vinegar is that the acid in the vinegar will form up the protein in the egg so you can easily form a shape. Use a bowl and drop the egg in the middle. Gently lay the egg as close to the surface of the water. If you drop it from a high place, <coughs> let me save my words. If you still wanna try doing cannibal, let me know how it was in the comment section. For information, when you make a poached 
poached egg, you really really need fresh eggs. Otherwise, the chance of failure will be extremely higher. I'm using this egg which I kept in the fridge for only a week, but the shape is not pretty as I expected. Now take it out and put it into the water that we prepared before. This way, you can wash the egg, otherwise it will taste like vinegar. Alright, everything is all set. Put some rice into a bowl, add some bell pepper and mushroom and avocado. Put some meat like this and place 2 or 3 pieces with a bone attached for the presentation. Without these bones, nobody will recognize this is LA Galbi. Garnish it with sliced onions. If you don't want uncooked onion, you can replace it with chopped jalapeno. Lastly, place the poached egg on top. This is it. It looks pretty fancy, right? Let's call our taste tester. Flair. Wow. Today, I showed you how to make LA Galbi that people in LA don't even know. I don't exactly know if it's from LA or Korea, but the only thing I know is you will love it so much. So, I strongly recommend trying this Galbi. Your family will give you a big kiss. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.